Hey there, Cavs. I'm Laura Fodovich, and this is the Advanced Cav Report. Here at JCCC, there are many different ways to be environmentally friendly. Recycling bins around campus can be used for items like glass, books, plastic bags, metal, styrofoam, and much more. If you're not sure where to put your recyclable items, there are labels on each bin that tell you where certain items are accepted. You can visit the JCCC website for more information about recycling on campus. With Thanksgiving just around the corner, we decided to ask students about their plans for the holiday. Here's Jason Thompson with the story. Here at JCCC, Thanksgiving is quickly approaching. We asked students about their plans and favorite traditions. Thanksgiving, I got my uh, brothers to come back from college, and I uh, probably just enjoy being together as family. I'm going to spend Thanksgiving with my family and my boyfriend. Um. Not really sure. I think I'm just going to be staying home with family. Might have some relatives come over. My plans for Thanksgiving is to go spend time with my family out in Missouri and just have a good time. I mean, I enjoy kind of coming together as a family and enjoying turkey, a nice meal. Kind of just brings everyone together and enjoy, kind of like Christmas, I guess, just enjoy each other. I'm thankful for uh, Johnson County Community College and all the wonderful people that go here. We also asked students about their favorite holiday foods and if they planned on going Black Friday shopping. Maybe on the internet. It's safer. I haven't decided yet. This depends on my paycheck. My favorite thing about Thanksgiving? Um, food. Um, green bean casserole. Um, the ham and the turkey is my favorite. For the Advanced Cav Report, I'm Jason Thompson. There are many clubs and organizations on campus, but one that's made a recent comeback has been the International Dance Club. The International Dance Club is an organization that seeks to bring people of different cultures together through different forms of dance. The club meets on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. and Fridays from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. You can visit the JCCC website to find out more. The Student Senate is an organization here on campus that provides government representation for the student body. We sent Michael Peterson to find out more. Here in COM 309 is where the Student Senate meets every Monday at noon. The Student Senate discusses many important issues affecting students here on campus. One of these is the accessibility campaign. Another is quite topical this time of the year, a season of giving, and appropriately this campaign is called the JCCC Gives campaign. And we had the rare opportunity recently to sit in on one of these student senate meetings and to speak with a couple of the senators. This is what they had to say. We have a general assembly every week um, in which we discuss uh, the agenda. Basically, we have committees, um, and these committees come up with um, great plans to, to benefit the, the college. Um, and I'm part of budget budget committee, and we meet every Wednesday. And the chair of that committee will make an announcement, and then um, we whole as a as senators make um, plans. Another project in which the student senate is currently engaged is a campaign to encourage improved accessibility for handicapped students and faculty. For more information, please go to the JCCC website. For the Advanced CAV report, this is Michael Peterson. Do you love to travel and visit different countries? Well, the Study Abroad program at JCCC offers a wide variety of opportunities and countries to visit, like China, Costa Rica, France, Italy, and many more. There are even scholarships available if money is an issue. You can stop by COM220 to talk with an advisor about studying abroad. JCCC student Diego Astorga is an aspiring film editor whose works have been seen in festivals and online. Here's Chris Wang with a story. Hello, this is Chris Wang reporting in for JC3. I'm here at JCCC, home of a talented young film student. Um, I'm here to interview him and find out more about this intriguing man. My dream job is to become a film editor. Uh, yeah, so in high school, um, there was a program that they had at my school called eCommunications, and it kind of based around four different areas of arts. Uh, there's graphic design, web design, animation, video. And I kind of took on to video for a while and my brother really got me into it because he was he was three years ahead of me but he was in the program so he's a senior at the time I started. My inspiration would probably be my brother. So he put a lot of dedication into film and so it really got me interested into doing it. Um, and then about junior year I started getting uh, into the cinematography and editing of it. So that's where I dedicated most of my time. I use a Canon 60 
Um, it's a full-frame camera, that's where, that's where it's at. I have a 50mm 1.4 lens. Um, I have a tripod, I have a glide cam, I have a shoulder rig. Um, and yeah, I have a few like filters and stuff. Worked on a lot of different things, mostly short films. Um, I've worked on a few music videos. Um, I've done a feature film. My favorite film would probably be Lightweight. It was a short film I made. Well, that does it for this Advanced Cab Report. This has been Laura Fodovich. We'll see you next time.